Good morning, everybody, and happy, happy Friday. You made it to Fired Up Friday on the JV Impacts podcast. My name is Coach JV. I'm the top health and mindset coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. You made it to Fired Up Friday. You made it through Motivation Monday, Health Tuesday, Hump Day Wednesday. Let's see, Life Lesson Thursday, and now today is Fired Up Friday. We've come to you with almost four hundred podcasts. We're coming up on our 400 podcasts very, very soon, and we have not missed one. We are so passionate about helping people with their health and mindset that we are working to become the top health and mindset company in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. You can help us out tremendously by sharing this podcast, sharing this YouTube video uh, with everybody you know. That will help us grow this brand so you can help us fulfill our mission of impacting lives every single day. I'm super excited to let you guys know we're just days away from the launch of the online 3T fitness system. You're going to be able to join and go through my 12-week transformation, my personal transformation, join our live gym here. You're going to have on-demand videos, and as the platform grows, there'll be human optimization in there. I'm going to take you through mindset coaching. You get a free copy of my book, The You Must Believe Way of Life, and we're going to take you step-by-step through self-affirmations, stopping negative self-talk, getting your mind right before you take flight. So this is a comprehensive program, but a program that's going to continue to evolve and grow. So when you become a member of my 3T Fitness family, I'm going to make sure you have new and fresh things to keep you becoming an optimal human being throughout the rest of your life. You'll have to go nowhere else for human optimization. optimization. Excuse me. Imagine being part of a platform where you get to coach with Coach JV. His coach is here in 3T Fitness getting to see our live gym throughout the week, also having on-demand videos where you can hit your workouts right from home. You can order your equipment, which is very simple, dumbbell, kettlebell, yoga mat. If you want the Aerodyne bike and battle rope, be shipped right to your house. Fat mobilizing supplements, everything you need to be an optimal human being. And as the program grows, you're going to be able to click on human optimization, kundalini yoga, all kinds of different things, meditation, so you'll have to go nowhere else. So if you get bored with the 3T Fitness actual workout, you can change it up to provide some variety in there. But 3T Fitness is always evolving because it's fat mobilization, human optimization. Well, you came here to get inspired. You came here to get motivated. That's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now, this week, We've gotten some emails, people saying, ah, Coach JV, you're getting under my skin a little bit. Good, 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 good. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to be real. I'm here to be authentic, and I'm here to ruffle your feathers, and I'm here to get you to critically think. So often, if this gets under your skin and you have the time to send me an email, then I'm probably talking to you. Let's talk. Let's chat. That's a good thing. So at least you're self-aware and it's upsetting you enough where you're reaching out to me. And if it's upsetting you, you probably mean, it probably means I'm talking to you. So maybe time to do some self-awareness. And I appreciate the emails. I appreciate the feedback, good or bad. We're going to keep on rolling here at 3T Fitness. So keep on going. But as I said, if it's talking to you, then it's probably you. If it's irritating you, it's probably you. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to change lives and impact people every single day. Now, today's podcast is, it's everyone else's fault. I know. I know. It's everyone else's fault. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's no one else's fault. I know that's not what you want to hear. You want to blame it on your boss. You want to blame it on your spouse. You want to blame it on your ex who left you for the uh, young girl, right? You want to blame it on all these people, why you've gained weight. And you want to blame it on your past. You want to blame it on your stress of the future. And you want to blame, 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 blame all the way to a miserable life where you're hanging out with miserable people. And guess what? That's going to be the rest of your existence on this beautiful earth. It says in the Bible you can have heaven on earth. Is that how you get to heaven on earth? No. You get to heaven on earth by understanding that it's not everyone else's fault. It's not even remotely everyone else's fault. It's your fault. But let me break this down. Did the other people have the lack of self-development? Or was it you that had the lack of self-development? So did they stop you from not doing self-development when you got that promotion and all of a sudden some young hotshot came up that was working very hard, self-promoting, doing all this different stuff, working hard on their craft, and they came and took your job? Did they stop you from doing self-development or did you stop yourself from doing self-development? It wasn't their fault. Did they hit the snooze button for you every single morning? Hmm. Does somebody else run into your room and hit the snooze button and allow you to not get up early like successful people, but you say you want to be successful? You're complaining about not having any money, but there's all these opportunities for you to grow within a society where, just like I'm doing this YouTube channel and podcast and online system and in person, that wasn't built by me sitting here sitting the snooze button. But did they hit the snooze button for you? No, you did. Did they ignore your spouse? 
Did they ignore your spouse for this they person, this thing, this entity? Did they ignore your spouse, partner, or loved one to the point where they ended up leaving or finding another mate that was going to take care of them? Not saying it's good or bad. Not saying it's acceptable to go leave your spouse or anything like that. But what I'm saying is, did they ignore your spouse? I'm self-aware that I'm hardly, hardly ever home, that I'm working all the time. So if something happened, what am I to expect, right? I know my wife wouldn't do that. But what I'm saying is, would I sit back and blame other people? I'd blame myself. Because I'm working 20 hours a day, working to build a legacy and die as a legend, maybe I've left my spouse, uh, you know, off the table a little bit. So i got to focus on her. I take responsibility for that. I don't blame her. I don't blame her for anything. I take responsibility. Next, did they put that food in your mouth? Ooh, Coach JV, you're getting crazy here. Did they put the food in your mouth? Did the person that left you, did the person that hurt you, did the person that stressed you out at work put the food in your mouth? Answer the question. Did they put the food in your mouth? They didn't. You put the food in your mouth. You did. I know this one hurts and I'm going to irritate some people, but you put the food in your mouth. And I'm here to help you as a coach, to help you rewire those patterns. It's not, it, it is your fault, but it's not someone else's fault that, they, that you put that food in your mouth. Don't blame other people. Don't wallow in your pity. Next, did they sit on the couch? Or was that you sitting on the couch? But my spouse would get upset if I sit on the couch and I don't watch TV with them. Would they be upset if you move forward and become a legend? Would they be upset if you build that business to support your family? Would they be upset if you got a promotion? Would they be upset if you got healthy? And if they are upset if you got healthy, got a promotion, and move forward, it's probably the wrong person that's not going to support you. Because if anybody supports you sitting on the couch, ignoring your spouse, hitting the snooze button, and not doing self-development... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right person, but I'm not here to judge. But I know my wife supports me, my crazy ass running around trying to save the world and becoming legendary and doing all this self-development. I know she supports me, but she doesn't bitch when I don't hit the snooze button. I'm never home. She doesn't bitch when I'm self-developing all the time. She doesn't bitch when she sees me put food in my mouth. She supports me. Next, did they show up late? Oh, uh, did the other people show up late to work every single day and do a minimal amount to get by, and then you go to get the promotion and you get declined and you're shocked? Did the person that declined you show up late? Did the person decline you not do the extra work? Did the person decline you that didn't do more than they were asked? Hmm. These are tough questions to answer, right? These questions take self-reflection. So now, let me ask you a question. Is it everyone else's fault or is it your fault? Now, I'm going to give you a little secret, so hopefully you're listening. If you're watching the YouTube channel, I'm looking right into your eyes. If you're listening, I'm speaking right to you. It's not everyone else's fault. And successful people understand that. Successful people understand that. When 3T Fitness goes through hard times, it's my fault. I'm the CEO of 3T Fitness. When this business goes through tough times financially, it's my fault. When something fails on the online system, it's my fault. I could blame the tech people. I could blame the production people. I could blame this. I could blame my social media team, whatever it is. But guess what? It's my fault. I take full responsibility because guess what? Who does the buck land on? Me. Me. It's my responsibility to impact someone's life every single day. It's not their responsibility, but they're part of the team. And I expect team members to take everything to blame to themselves as well. So they say the same thing. They don't blame it on their team members. They say, it's my fault. And when everybody's saying, it's my fault, everybody takes responsibility, and we all move forward much faster. So today is Fired Up Friday. It's Fired Up Friday, and it's time to get fired up. It's time to get moving, and it's time to stop blaming everybody else and take responsibility for your actions. Let's rise up today. Let's go into the weekend. Let's shake it off. Let's go into Motivation Monday ready to tear through the walls. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you, but damn well, don't let me love you more than you love yourself. I will talk to you on Motivation Monday. Shake off the dust. Get ready for Monday on Sunday, and let's get ready to rock and roll. We'll talk to you soon.